Okay, now we're good. Hey, are we back? That's right, we're back. <laughs> Guess who's back? Mm-mm-mm. Back again. Dragon Lords. <laughs> Tell your friends. <laughs> <laughs> the best intro I got for a yeah. Sunday morning. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not turning off now, you never will. <laughs> it's a test, I see. <laughs> yeah. we got you. We've got you now. Good to be up, hey, up front. We've got some Odyssey of the Dragon Lords with all of our friends. And today's ep- what did we thought decide on an episode number? It's episode two. 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 Is two. it officially two? Yeah. The King's Daughter? Yes. Hmm. What happened last time? The Chosen rescued the Oracle from the clutches of Helica, the nasty witch. And you found some things out. You found out some portion of what the fates have in store for each of you. (laughs) And now you must undertake a series of great labors in order to prepare you all for your confrontation with the Titans. Um, and we decided that your next destination is the city of Astoria. So let me give you a little rundown of what you know about Astoria as, as characters. Um, so uh, there's a river called the Archelon River that is, uh, Astoria sits on. It's the largest settlement on that river. And Astoria is built into a rocky gorge and it sprawls down, the city does, from a stone-walled fortress. And that fortress faces the steps to the north. And the Archelon River itself runs along the northern edge of the fortress. So it forms like this natural moat um, for, for the fortress and, and the city itself. And it can only be crossed by a bridge at the north gate or by a ford near what they call the Rock of Estor at the southern gate, which is where you're approaching from. And the the far side of the river, um, uh, to the north, those steps, those grasslands, are where bands of centaurs roam and patrol, heeding all that is this sort of outcropping of civilization Hmm. in in Thylia. Anti-civilization? Yeah, because, you know, they're all fans of the Titan, the whatever. Titan. Nice. <clears throat> All these mortals came and settled and ruined our land. I know. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> okay. So as I said, you approach Astoria. The settlement is nestled between these cliffs of this rocky gorge. And um, you can see even approaching from the south as you look up, the north wall is there up on the horizon before you and um there's uh there's there's men that stand guard at the at the top of that north wall looking over the steps and there's houses and taverns and shops of all kind that sprawl down uh from the fortress filling the gorge up and um at the southern gates as you approach uh, you can see that there are travelers and merchants caravans coming to and fro and <clears throat> this this road is sort of lined with tile roofed inns, and uh, there is where you see uh, a couple of merchants that are they're bringing their their wagon in for trade, and you you notice they look rather down, they look rather sad and depressed, as do all the folks around you that are sort of coming and going from the city, and they they sort of glance over at the at the at the group as you approach the city, and they're like, oh. Oh, are you, are you the chosen? The the uh, excuse me, the chosen. We are, we are indeed. Well, I recognize you uh, because of your one fame from when you <laughs> killed that boar. <laughs> Thank you. I did kill that boar. Thank you. <laughs> yes, uh, we all did kill the boar. All oh, right. Wow. This took enough. Uh, the, um. um why why would you come to such a depressed place as Astoria? Why is Astoria so depressed, might I ask? Oh, oh you ask? Let me read you why it's so depressed. Fantastic. 
you see. They've just been handing this out in the mall. I see. <laughs> <laughs> Give you my pamphlet. <laughs> you can read along with me. See, <laughs> the surrounding farms have few livestock remaining. They're exhausted by the daily sacrifices demanded by Sidon. Yes, Uh-oh. yes, it that Sidon, the one you've run into recently. Daily heard. That guy. Sidon the sucky. Daily. Mm. Yes, daily. I know. Horrible, right? Awful. Just, just one of the, the economy. Well, um, we're, we're talking about uh, the, the outskirts. The farms have been forced to bring in their oxen, and there's very few livestock left. Not to mention, because he's the Lord of Storms, he's withholding rains from the region. And it's causing extreme drought. And then, Cyclops have been crossing the river and pillaging the farms on top of that, all along the road to the south to Metros. The centaurs are gathering in record numbers in the steps to the north. It looks like they're preparing an assault on the city. Oh, whoa, Astoria. How depressed we are. Yeah, so just If a... only we had a group of heroes that could figure this out and help us. I'm sure someone will come along. Just a bad time all around, then. Okay, well, um... Wait, are you turning around and leaving? No. Where are you going? <laughs> no, no. I guess we have to fight a rain god or something. At level two. Oh, still, don't let that stop you. Yep. No, I'm uh, sure the city has some liveliness left in it somewhere, right? Surely as heroes maybe you can the rain find god's it. only level three. Yeah. Uh, um, yes. Okay. But, uh, Anyway, I have five apples, or one pear. Would you like to buy it? <laughs> Extreme um, drought uh, and all. Yes. I mean, we should... Yes, here. Uh, I, I give uh, you a, a piece of uh, currency, whatever the going rate is for the uh, fruit. Thank you very much. And I'll share it out among my comrades. Thank yeah. you very much. And uh, may I... Uh, Oh, may I wish you uh, the best, uh, and may may the fortunes turn by our all uh, collective efforts. Oh, thank you, and I I will do my best to spread word of the chosen and how they purchased my last pair. <laughs> what great purchasers these individuals are! <laughs> all hail! Thank you. The pair purchasing choosing. Let me announce your coming. And he rides out in front into the city proper. I, I think we have a second level of fame now. <laughs> we'll call it 1.3. 1. 1. 1. <laughs> 1. 1.3. The slayers of boars and we purchased the pair. <laughs> yes. Purchasing of a pair is at least point three fame. Yeah. Come, everybody. They will purchase your pairs, too, perhaps. Well, okay. Well. See, this is um, why you have to bring it up for the whole class. Yeah, I'm very picky about pears. <laughs> They're either rock okay, hard or mush. Hungry? I'm hungry. Do you want an apple? There's a pear. I'll take. Oh, I'll take whatever you pear? got. Yeah, I'll. I'll uh, I love pears. Yeah. Well, great. Well, I'll keep an um, apple for myself and shore out the rest of the food. And I am sodden from head to toe from crossing the river because I couldn't not swim in it. Oh. <laughs> Okay. All right. I will steer so clear. Of yeah. Naya then. Yeah. Dripping. <laughs> Wide-eyed and excited. I love pears. I love apples. Okay. Well, let's. let's I love all the lands bounty. Let's Does this merchant have a, a like a cart? It was. Okay. Well, I'm gonna on. take my apple or whichever fruit is given to me, and I'm gonna slip it back onto the cart so that they've got something else to sell. Oh. oh, look! What great luck is this? We've found an apple we've missed. Surely that will bring us even more income in these depressed times. Um, I believe we purchased all of your apples, so that's ours, probably. Kiros, <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Oh, the Lion Man <laughs> ruins our fate. <laughs> it's just, I'm just circuit, looking for a deal. <laughs> Just dealing, just dealing. Just, not very good at it. <laughs> so as as you are 
as this procession happens in, <laughs> into the city of Astoria, um, and, and the streets begin to go grow crowded because everybody wants to hear what all this pair purchasing fuss is about, <laughs> you see some guards approach. And these guards, um, they're, they're not dressed the like... police. Yeah, the <laughs> they're, they're not dressed like, uh, like what the Order of Sidon quite were. Okay, you good. Know, but they carry uh, an insignia uh, proper to the city of Astoria. And um, they come and they approach you and they say, um, uh, Yes, uh, excuse me, uh, it seems uh, we've been uh, alerted to your presence here. Um, King Pythor sends his regards. Uh, in fact, uh, he seeks an audience with all of you. Uh, would you be so kind as to follow me? Just very slowly turn my head to look at Delta. Uh, I have yeah. my hood all the way up, like as far covering my face as possible, and I am trying to uh, hide behind the lion man. Okay. So, so uh, I'm, so I'm just looking behind me and down, like... <laughs> okay. Uh, this it feels non-negotiable. Is that right? Well, <clears throat> look. Uh, the king has requested uh, that you come and see him personally, and if we were to go back empty-handed, that <laughs> well, that's I mean, it's King it's King Pythor, you know, probably... <clears throat> like one of the five, like yeah, that guy. He'll probably like yeah. stab you to death, right? Yeah. Kira's right. like, yeah, you should probably uh, just go see him. Yeah, I mean, he'd probably help us on our quest. Yeah, not just. I'm not questioning this openly. Just you know, okay. Uh, are there certainly. are there less people yes. in this king's chamber? Because I've never seen so many people in my life, and I'm terrified. <laughs> yes, yes. There's quite there's quite a few less. In fact, it's thing. just him, and um, he's not in the best state right now. I think he could use a little help. I feel like he might. Be uh, that's between me. you and me. Let's not tell everybody. Oh really? Just okay. walk in. What seems to be the problem? To God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, you'll to... you'll come along. Yeah, we'll, we'll come. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come. yes, yes. Overwhelmed. Um, as we are walking, I'd like to ask Andromeda. Hey, Andromeda, mm -hmm. did did you understand all that stuff your aunt was saying? My aunt? Yeah, the the Oracle Lady. She's your aunt. Oh, that's right. <laughs> um, sort of. Looks like we got epic destinies to follow and things like that. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't worry too much about it, because... I don't know. Uh, it's like destiny, so it's like, it's gonna... It's gonna happen eventually, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I don't know. Mine just seemed to, to be a lot about doom and doom and omens, and it just—it sounded scary, and I don't want it to be scary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you get used to it. Yeah, I mean, like they keep, keep a good they attitude. Sort of, <laughs> they sort of upsell a lot of stuff. Like they make it sound worse than my what, what it might actually be. No, okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Andromeda. I think that helped. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go help this king with whatever, whatever his problem is. It's probably remember this. something very personal. The GM adds narration. Looking in from the outside, I don't think that helped. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're led up to the temple in Astoria. All the way up winding path through the city. The merchants yelling from behind, there they go! Perhaps they're going to buy the king's pears! Oh! <laughs> and, um, you, you, you reach... I feel uh, you waves reach... of innuendo coming from the populace. <laughs> <clears throat> you, you reach the, the, uh, the fortress proper, you go in, you're uh, led directly to the throne room. And you're quickly ushered into the throne room, and the door's shut behind you. And there's nothing else in the throne room except the throne, marble statues that depict uh, imagery of the five. And there, uh, a large man with long flowing hair and this 
great beard with a spear in hand and a wine jug in the other, sort of sloshing about and looking as if he's acting out a fight against one of the marble statues, uh, somewhat drunkenly. Ah, take, take that, Vulcan. <laughs> ah, what it would be to battle again. Oh, oh, how I miss it. He sort of has his back to you. He doesn't doesn't notice that you've come in. <laughs> Here is like you should introduce drunk. yourselves. <laughs> this is the. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> this is him. This is Pythor. Yes, I know. Quite a Greetings, mess. King Pythor. Ah. Uh, we come. We come to you, uh, the chosen of the Oracle. <laughs> he he drops his spear and he turns around and he says. Oh, look at you. And you can see his face is a bit tear-stained. And he says, Oh, what great day is this? Look at you. Oh, surely you're here to help a king who is down on his luck. Oh. Uh, I start fish fishing around in my pockets for some gold. No, no, no. No, it's, oh. it's not like that. He takes a big gulp of wine. I'll hand you two silver. Erex. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a... um, is is this a man sized god or is he a giant in any proportion? Okay. God sized. I mean, man. he's a he's a bigger man. Sure, know? but yes, he is. He's like a like a six foot five muscly dude, but he's not okay. you know, some huge giant. Okay. okay, he could play forward. I got gotcha. you. Like Jason Momoa. He says, "Oh." Yes. Oh, thank you so much, sister, for bringing these to me. Oh, what? What? Look at this lion guy. Oh, Hi. He looks like a real warrior. Oh, this is the kind of person that I need here in Astoria helping me. That's what they tell me. And also oh, what I am. So a real lion slayer, huh? Thank get you. It? Yes. yes. Thank you. Yes. I like this guy. Delta, I don't get it. Uh, what brings a beast like you to Thylia? Oh, I'm trapped there. Oh. Well, there could be worse places to be trapped. It friend. seems pretty okay. And now I'm kind of yeah. liking it a lot more now. Good. <laughs> Some damp lady told me I was doomed or going to eat a doom or something. But it, uh, This is great. <laughs> I got a pear earlier. You're super cool. There are these neat statues. <laughs> Well, surely you'll just stay with us then, right? I mean, maybe. What do you mean, maybe? Well, I don't know. My the 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 damp lady from earlier Andromeda's amp. Uh, she said I had to go and I had to find a treasure, and I don't want to. Um, I mean, if she said it, she seemed important. Oh, so. what treasure do you seek? Um, maybe I have it here in uh, the palace. Let me check my notes. <laughs> Right, and she just said uh, the fabled the treasure of the dragon lords. But also we need, let's see, we need a bottomless horn. We need oh, wait, uh, the wait, dragon wait, lord. the treasure of the dragon lords. Oh, yes, I I know of the lost treasure of the dragon lords. I could maybe help you out, but really, perhaps, perhaps you'll help you me have a first. I really need help saving my daughter. Maybe if you help daughter. me save my daughter, then I can uh, give you some information on this. Uh, okay, this just kind of. I'm going to. What's wrong with physically you? push Delta forward? <laughs> I am trying to push back as much as possible. Okay, well I'm like three but times your size. I also have a negative head. one strength. <laughs> yep. Let's do it. <laughs> you gotta love some player versus player strength checks. Come on, let's do a little strength contest. <laughs> Not great. Uh oh. I rolled a two. Okay. Which will make it a one. Uh, <laughs> I rolled. I rolled a thirteen. So I'm not like I'm not like shoving you, but I am pretty forcefully pushing you forward. Then, just. <coughs> Who is this then? You're stuck. <coughs> stuck. Who's this? Okay. Uh, just kind of pull her back. Nobody. No, no. Oh, no. I, uh, wait. Come here, you. I noticed something different about you. Let's. Let me see. Whoops. You. You have my eyes. Oh, I, I do not suggest looking directly into them. Oh. Oh, yeah, something familiar about you. Are you one of my children? Oh. 
Uh, um, that, yes, that is what my mother told me. Your mother? Let me think here. Wait, was your mother Cleo? Yeah, yes. Oh, oh yes, Cleo. Oh, the, to- the tale she told. Oh, did you did you hear about the one with me and the maiden I wooed on the roof during the full moon? <laughs> oh, turns out she had lycanthropy. Oh, but we didn't let that stop us from having a great night. <laughs> um, oh, uh, right. Anyway, uh, yes. Oh, that, that makes you Delta, yes? I don't don't remember the snake hair. Uh, yeah, yes. Yes, well, I never forget my children. <laughs> Sometimes I just misplace uh, uh, them. <laughs> anyway, uh, how is Cleo? Uh, missing. Oh, missing. That's no good. What happened? Uh, she disappeared one day. No doubt it's that nasty Hexia likely involved. The bane of my existence. Uh, she's always been this way with so many of my lovers. Uh, what way? Ah, uh, she's the jealous beast. Nasty thing. Dragon, you know. Green so with jealousy. <laughs> I'll give myself inspiration. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, I feel like you're playing with more information than we are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, she she's they say she dwells somewhere in the forgotten sea. Uh, if only I could find somebody to go and find that thing and take care of it. Uh, uh, if it has my mother. I I would gladly go. You don't even have uh, very big muscles, but uh, you know, I suppose we could uh, we could work with it. All right, great. Maybe I underestimate you. Perhaps, uh, perhaps there's something I could uh, I could give to my child if you help me out. <clears throat> anyway, back to my problem. My back to problems. me and my problems. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes. I, my daughter, my favorite daughter. Uh, no offense. Uh, my favorite of the children. Uh, You're a half sister. You could meet her. Uh, you could, but I've locked her up in the dungeon. It's for her own good. Yes. Why? Well, Why? let me get out my pamphlet and explain. <laughs> what? Explain uh, to you my issues. It's a culture thing here in Astoria. Yeah, this town loves so, pamphlets. So press, <laughs> press, press release? Sort of? So your daughter's a werewolf. Oh, one, well, no, we never, we never had a child. Hexia, unfortunately, took the, uh, took the hairy lover from me before, before her time. <laughs> Cooked her up and all. Tried to serve her to me. It was unfortunate. I told you she's a nasty beast, this, that Hexia. This dragon lady with. seems terrible. Yes, she is. Yeah. She is. Anyway. I'm suddenly more worried about my mother. Well, you should be. It's a different problem for a different day, though. Yeah, and unfortunately, we're only level two, so, you know. <laughs> I yes, don't perhaps when we build up some about. muscle in you, daughter, yeah, I don't you'll be able to go, to go and face things. that foul beast. Uh, in out, ancient of what? Two out of what? Yeah, and, um, I got everything, everything in our journal right now looks like level ten up. Uh, yeah, it's, I, it's, it's scary. We, it's, it's how we measure things on Theros. Um... Yeah, because, I mean, like, if this, you know, we fought the boar, this dragon seems to have pissed off a god, and the god can't deal with it, so, you know, (laughs) like, I know there are five of us, but still. They say reach for the sky. (laughs) And do what? Die if you miss? (laughs) That's right. (laughs) Fail gloriously. At least least five times this month. (laughs) Boy, if you think so, Nerex. Anyway, back to my (laughs) pump. Yes, sorry, I Mm -hmm. keep interrupting. So, uh, a few weeks ago, it's all blurry now with the wine that I've, that I've drinking, but, uh, the Order of Sidon, they, they sent some warriors to Astoria, and they had demands from the Lord of Storms himself, and, well, he demanded that 
My precious daughter, my most favorite of all daughters. Honora okay, is her I name, by it. the way. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> she was to be sacrificed. That's... Chained to the rock of Estor amid the rushing waters of the Archelon River. Imagine my favorite daughter out there in the middle of the river, chained to a rock, uh, and left there until sunrise as an offering to Sidon. Does seem uh, pretty mean. Hmm. Well, good it news. It was either that or it was, <laughs> or it was allow this army of centaurs to storm the city. And... Unfortunately, I can't engage in battle because I'm bound by the oath of oh. peace. Oh, yes. Uh, oh, I can't. I can't. But you can, you can hire other people though to do that uh, for you. Yes, friend. Look at you. How yeah. beautiful you are. What do they call you? I, uh, I, my, I am. We are. I am uh, Nerex. Is I Nerex? Oh, yes. Look like you could. Sir, God. Do some damage with those beautiful wings of yours flying high, throwing uh, spears uh, or daggers or whatever it is you want to throw at your enemies, no, he, slaying uh, thousands he, before you. He whispers at them. Uh, what? Whispers? Yeah. Well, so far, so far. Well, we'll see what happens. Uh, you, you fill me with a uh, vasty thoughts and. and and uh, we'll get you a thinking, proper weapon. So. Here, I'll give you this spear. I was pretending to fight these oh. marble statues because it was fun. <laughs> the, uh, Free uh, spear. Thank, thank you. Yeah, use that. Okay, what Just imagine you up there it. flying with a spear. Come on. I like it. Oh. It's, it's great. It's a, a what, a, spear. what a beautiful young lady you are. What is uh, What is your name? Just noticing you for the first time. <laughs> which, which one? Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he looks right at you, Naya. Uh, <laughs> just I... like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, have you heard some of my tales of conquest? Um, I've not understood all the words you have said, but I've heard several of them come from satyrs, and I usually laugh along with them, too. Oh, Great. Now, perhaps you and I can laugh together in a tale sometime. <laughs> okay. Well, <clears throat> obviously, when you come of age and all that, right? How long is that until, by the way? Just mental. Oh, <laughs> I do have a particularly portentous birthday coming up. Uh, I would like to assure oh. my lord uh, that uh, no one was chained to the rock when we passed it just now. And uh, with the drought, <laughs> the river's not that high, so you probably have some time, even once they're chained there. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Now that I now that I look at you a little more closely, I see there's quite a bit of doom around you. Yeah, uh, you're you're a yeah. bad mistake in way more than <laughs> in more than one way. So perhaps I'll back off a little. <laughs> uh... What? <laughs> I'm just playing the pot. Anyway, back to my pamphlet. So I had to lock my daughter away in the dungeon. I mean, it's she's. She, uh, let's be honest. She really runs this city. It isn't me. While I'm drinking, I might as well be fully transparent with everyone. So, so if she's locked up and she runs the city, who's running the city? Oh, there you go. Everybody's pretty depressed. <laughs> <laughs> but if it was up to Honora, she would sacrifice herself for this place, and I just can't lose my most favorite of children I've ever had throughout my centuries of history here in Thylia. She sounds great. Mm. Yes. <laughs> just uh, really smart, just pretty. My She's strong. She takes control. Uh, she could she could wield weapons and Well, uh good news, Delta. Sounds like a solid second is open. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a quarter staff, but uh, yeah. Yes, anyway, look at this one over here. Obviously a strong, strapping young woman. Amazonian, am I right? Yes. <laughs> um, I think Andromeda is like on whatever the equivalent of being on her phone is. She's just like, <laughs> not paying attention <laughs> reading, anymore. Reading a pamphlet. <laughs> right. I'll accept silence for a rousing yes in this case. Anyway, I'm just looking for some help. Please, my favorite daughter, Jeopardy here. 
So, you, how can we help you? out of the dungeon? Yeah, I'm not... Well, this is, this is where Kira steps up. in. We need Kira, Kira steps in and she steps up front. She says, look at you. Ugh. These pitiful woes of yours, drowning yourself in wine, that won't solve them. You have a duty to these people, especially now. Ugh. All right, well, his wallowing doesn't do anybody any good, so I guess we ought to figure this out. Come on, Chosen. Let's, so is let's there a statue of, like, the goddess Kira in this room? Statue of the five? Yep. Yeah. Oh, the statue of Kira? I'm going <laughs> to be looking at the statue and then looking at her. Yeah. Oh, you're doing, like, yeah. it's, um... Pythor the totally... Statue looks, it's the Clark Kent, Clark Kent Superman thing. Yeah. Right? Well, it, yeah. it, the statue looks exactly like her. Actually, it actually, the statue has, like pouches of parchments and like quills and stuff yeah. even on uh, it. Pythor totally <laughs> called her his sister earlier. Like, <laughs> Oh, and she looks yeah, at I heard, you, I Delta, and then it. she looks at the statue you're looking at, and then back at you, and she says, yes, she does look a lot like me. Actually, the one thing that this proves is that she must be a poet, just like me. Yeah, we know that. <laughs> <laughs> that that's it's it's uncanny, that. really, it's uncanny. This anyway, one's made of stone, and she's not. So. Problem out for King Pythor. Okay, yeah, so what? what right. So my idea is we kill the daughter, and then, therefore, it's not sacrificed to Sidon, and then he's mad. At, now, don't listen to my plan, it's terrible. Stupid. Wait, what? Stupid there are no chaos. bad ideas. <laughs> Except I for that one. Oh. <laughs> I had a lot of respect for you up until this point, Lion Slayer. And now I'm not so sure. I just smashed the plans. I don't come up with them. Yes. <laughs> just well, smashed the plans. Sometimes people like you and me, we let others do the figuring out, and then we just swing things. Yeah, yeah. I got yes. to learn not to. I got to learn to listen to other people's plans first, because it's because then I usually I get to swing things in them. Come here, he hands you a jug of wine. Okay. Drink this and watch these people do their work. It'll be great. Oh, that's the good shit, yeah. <laughs> says, okay. Okay, so... Yeah. So I think we have a couple of options. Um, <clears throat> we could try to negotiate with the Order of Sidon. We could try to offer um, them something to, instead of Anora. King Pythor says, "Well, I, I've got our last fifty oxen locked up uh, here at here at the fortress, so that they wouldn't uh, that would, wouldn't that be would found. Ruin, that would ruin your ruin your uh, people. Then there'd be no food at all. Oh, well, that's true. But at least I'd save my daughter." But for how long? Like I think a day? That would only buy you fifty I'm, more I'm days. Really concerned with Sidon's like absolutely short sighted goal here. I don't like to speak ill of the guy. Actually, I don't care for them at all. I'm not sure what the exit plan is with Sidon, and I refuse to negotiate with anyone who follows him. I, that's just. I'm going to go back to being timid in the back here. But like, I just need that stated. Um, I could put it in a pamphlet if you have any after laying a breath. <laughs> right. Keep a. An anger oh. journal back here. Anger. Yeah, okay. It's like a, a, calligra a calligrapher in the back, ready to take dictation. Um, uh, hmm. Oh, Kira says, I mean, uh, you you could go and try to challenge a centaur chieftain, but that's insane. That means you'll probably all die in ceremonial battle. So that's not going to do anybody good. What Could we, uh, if we I win? Think with the the ceremony is sort of battle. interested in that option. Yeah, because uh, um, counter plan. I just won't die in the battle. It, it's not. Can... You can't. You can't take this path. No, he'll. The rules of the ceremony dictate that you would all have to be involved, and then he would be able to choose from among his army which are involved to match in number. Each of you. I mean, he has. He has Cyclops to choose from. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's less. Uh, one good. swing of their club the sound of our favorite. would decimate you. You, you have one, one eye to blind. Take them out. So level two. Any level two quests? Kira says, "How how much time <laughs> yeah, look, do we have, Pythor?" Pythor says, "Oh, well, 
Sidon's only given us a couple of days to figure it out. <laughs> oh, what a great challenge. Hopefully you'll all be able to save my daughter. She is my favorite. <laughs> you mentioned. <laughs> yeah, if we just run around in some circles outside the city, are there some low-level things we could grind? Uh, some wolf pelts we could <laughs> collect? Could get us to level six or seven quickly? <laughs> like a day or two? Uh, I'll, no. I'll take a quick two-level dip into fighter. Kira <laughs> says, well, I guess we could try to figure out how the sacrifice happens so that we could stop it. I don't know. Well, I was wondering if Does anybody have a, a minor illusion or anything? Trick them? Okay. Yes, if we oh. could make someone look like your daughter, perhaps. Have them lay in wait for whatever is supposed to take them, and then we contend with that. Okay. Right. I like this thought. Um, all right, great. Uh, I'm, I'm there, on board with there that, would so be you're a going fight. to trick them. Or, where is this Order of Sidon now? Are there representatives staying in the city? Or Yes. Yeah, so, Ga Gaius. Gaius is their leader. He's a, he's a fanatical nut. Him and, I don't know, a handful or so of... Their commanders are staying here in the palace, just down the hall, actually. Don't speak too loudly. They might hear of your plan to trick them. <laughs> uh. Oh, did I not mention that? <laughs> it echoes around here, uh. you know, stone and everything. Are we sure they're not listening now? Oh, probably not. Uh, <laughs> no. Um, I see. Should you go and check? You came into this position, yes? You inherited this position. Oh, right? yes. Centuries ago, I defeated yes. Lysis Archilander. He's the son of Estor, who the city is named after, and conquered his... With your mighty skills of urban administration? Yes. No, I just came in yes. and took it right over. Look at me. I could take whatever <laughs> I want. That's good. That's good. I mean, he yes. was being oh, nasty to I the definitely. people, and I couldn't keep. I couldn't allow that to happen, so... Well, They're that's much better under my rule. That. Yes. Yes. Well, uh, that that and my yes. favorite daughters, of course. Yes. When Did she's it, king, things are just working smoothly. You said had uh, has the has Gaius uh, seen your daughter? Do they know what Anora looks like? Oh yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, they're well aware. Would you like well, to go they, talk to him? You some... could you could ask him whatever you want. Would they take another of your daughters, one of your lesser favorite daughters? <laughs> Namely, everyone but Honora, I guess? Maybe. Real yes. cool, Maya. That's a thought. <laughs> Delta, what do you think? I, I thought that would maybe be a... That's an acceptable plan. That was I mean, not you surely could yes. figure <laughs> out your so way out of this, right? I to sacrifice myself on a rock. Yeah, well, you know. Okay, wait. It's not as bad as it well, sounds. I was thinking, I was thinking actually, uh, uh, Maya could to be the, the, the bait, yeah. because Maya can breathe water. Yeah, if their intention is to drown me, it will take them some time. Well, that good, might buy us the time needed. I was going to say, I could be the bait and just put the wig on me. They don't, I mean, who knows? They, you could have some lion same difference. daughter. And I'll take like a I, billion points difference. of damage before I die. Well, we I mean, somehow, I'm very tough. You know, be careful. If you put a wig on, I might get the wrong idea. Okay, <laughs> yeah, well, uh, well, I'll do it outside. <laughs> Actually, I don't know that he's that discriminating yeah. in the first place. So I mean, look, right? I mean, as long as I, I mean, I'm, a, I'm not, not into it. Any port in a storm, right? Yeah. Um, and in this case, the now you get me. Uh, yes, here we go. <laughs> now we're all getting along. Who else wants some wine? Okay. I would rather I be on a crowd of many of right now, and that's insane. Can we just please leave this man <laughs> 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 at once? Um. Yeah, I mean, we've already seen uh, the, the depths of depravity that the Order of Sidon will go to, such as beating up uh, attendants and priestesses and, and set hags on, on oracles. So um, I don't think there's going to be much hope in negotiating with them, but we might want to at least take a meeting. At least see what they're after besides letting an army of centaurs in. Yes, these sacrifices must stop. Like, I just, yeah... All right. And if past is so, precedent, we'll walk in the door and Nerix will whisper one of them to death and then we'll we'll fight a door. I don't. I don't like I doors. Don't 
have a very limited range of experience in the outside world, okay. but so far... I'll, that's I'll, be, I'll be ready to whisper <laughs> someone to death. <laughs> please, 100% success rate. <laughs> please don't kill any of them. They're, they're, they're here with, through... Are they know, ambassadors? They're under an oath of hospitality. Uh. Right? I can't oh. see any harm come to them. So. That's right. That would be bad. We'd be cursed. I understand. Um, well, no, I, I, wouldn't think, want, I wouldn't want any of you to get cursed, or even more cursed. <laughs> wouldn't you be the? Wouldn't the curse just affect you? Well, well I don't know. I mean, it's up. It's up to the gods. <laughs> but the, I mean, he's. Well, the, I, yeah, yeah, if, the curse is just mysterious like. Mysterious ways. Yeah, the curse is just like deflect off of gods, like they're mirrors. I don't know how magic works. Allegedly, you can whisper someone to death, but I've never seen it. <laughs> they certainly don't deflect off of many gods. Anyway, I'll be happy to arrange the meeting. Okay. He has some attendants come in, and he, you know, he orders them to get a meeting set up with the Order of Sidon, so that you can meet them and perhaps negotiate with them. Or yeah. just meet them. Let's see. Seems like Sidon just wants to be ascendant and being worshipped, and want demand sacrifice. And I think it's just cause. I think the reason is just cause. I don't know that it's negotiable. Well, well, which is why find out. They they need people to enact the sacrifices. We we can simply stop listening to him. Okay. So moments later, <clears throat> a meeting room is set up, and you're led off to this room. And as you enter, uh, you see sitting around this table, uh, there are um, what look to be seven captains of the Order of Sidon. They're all wearing these blue robes and the iconography of the Lord of Storms on <clears throat> on their armor that they wear. And they are led by a heavily armored man who is obviously Gaius. He's an older man, um, gray-haired, bald. He, uh, he sits uh, sort of stoically at the table and almost analyzes each of you as you walk in. He sits there patiently and waits. He eyes each of you down. I I can't look at him. <laughs> I'll I'll try and meet his gaze. There's there must be a sacrifice. Lord Sidon demands a sacrifice. Why do you not lay down your own life? No, a Nora he has demanded shall be sacrificed. And all the captains go, yes, why yes a, a sacrifice, a sacrifice, why a Nora? yes. Why a Nora? Why a Nora? You have a very strange accent. <laughs> a very high pitched where you come from. I, well, an observation. Yes. <laughs> The way with the Lord of Storms and his order, you must speak in a high-pitched voice. Uh, it's a lot of treble so you can be heard over high winds. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> got, it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Take yes, it, you it. are wise, water nymph. And so being so wise, you must also know there must be a sacrifice. Yes, yes, a sacrifice. Ooh. Uh, but does it have to be a person? Maybe we can do, like, some sort of plant-shaped uh, sacrifice with maybe put, like, a Nora's clothes on it and then... Yeah. No, like, a shrubbery <laughs> will not do! <laughs> Shrubberies cannot be sacrificed. It must be a person. And Sidon has demanded it will be a Nora. Do you offer someone in her stead? I mean, I'll go. Yeah, I will go. This is nonsense. Can we speak to Sidon? Oh, you speak to him through me. I am appointed. <laughs> Doubtful. <laughs> okay, wow. Just turn and like, walk, look at the wall. Just, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Very well. You offer yourself. It is not sufficient. Sidon demands all five of you in her place. All five of us? I mean, all five of us. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes, now you speak. According to the order of Sidon, 
You understand? All five of you! One of us is a demigod. Does that count for, like, more? No, it is equal. Oh, and one of us is like a... Sidon! All hail Sidon! One of us is also like a a semi-god. She's worth five of us, even including me. We get it. Get it. No one hail Sidon. Okay, wait, hold on. Well, now I... Oh, shit. This this is the only way Sidon accepts no other path. Do you agree to sacrifice all of you? He would love to see you sacrifice. I raise my hand. Yes, you. The one with the wings. (laughs) I'm just saying, yeah, I agree. Oh, very good. We have two. Anybody else? I have a question. You're in. Yes, we have three. (laughs) No, question. She has a question. I got excited. (laughs) So I would uh, love to see you all dead. Yes. Anyway, go questions. ahead, you. One uh, with the bow. If we survive, can we kick your ass? Oh. Would not last three seconds against the leader of the Order of Sidon. So you would... I mean... What does it matter to you if we <laughs> were getting sacrificed? So if we don't survive, you have nothing to worry about. And if we can't, apparently you're as cool as you say, you don't have anything to worry about. So you should totally... If you survive the sacrifice, then we shall call it even. Everyone walks away, and Sidon demands no more sacrifices. The centaurs shall not attack the city. It is the deal I put on the table. It is fair. Because all five of you will surely die. I mean... Yes, take yes, our chances. Yes. Come on, this will win us great fame. Yeah, I'll, I'll volunteer. Sure. Yes, thank you. Okay, great. Excellent. This is done. Sacrifice. Andromeda, are you in? Does your I'm cat in. agree? Cat agrees. <laughs> <laughs> you are not you know, level three Liz. yet. You don't have anything. <laughs> <laughs> Take it away! Uh, Take it away! I looked at, I looked at you. Oh, wow, that works. A cat. <laughs> Very well. I will see you all tomorrow. One hour before sunrise, you will be led to be sacrificed! Sacrifice! Yay, a sacrifice! We gotta wake Great. up early. Yeah, perfect. We are done here. We just don't go to sleep. Great. Um, <laughs> All right. Is there anything you want to do before your sacrifice? I do. I okay. So I didn't want to say this in front of the dude because I thought <laughs> it might be bad. But I was I was wondering if if we could leverage Andromeda is related to Sidon, so maybe she doesn't have to be like tied to a rock or something, and then she could help us from outside. But I don't know if that's going to work because it doesn't seem like Sidon gives a shit about anything. So. Mm. <laughs> Oh, and he, he hated her mom, yeah. or some, he was tricked. Never mind. It, I'm glad I didn't say anything. <laughs> Could be a last minute, like, Martha appeal. Martha <laughs> appeal. <laughs> the old Martha maneuver, yep. <laughs> yep. We'll keep that in our back pocket. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Martha! Names off. My, my mom! Or grandma, or whatever. He could have just said my mom. <laughs> he would have been like, oh, I lost my mom. I, I also had a mom. And her name's Martha Wow, the laziest joke from 50 years ago. <laughs> we don't have time. Uh, <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I guess I just ugh, had to wake up early, so I start to make myself a little bed. <laughs> oh, you, you'll, right all get, you'll all get, you know, places to stay in the palace. No. <laughs> about this I'm told that as you he's like gathering a bunch somewhere. of pillows, uh, <laughs> just kind of put, put them all back. Oh. I was just going to sleep in this big box I found. Pyther walks by you as you're preparing your box. <laughs> a warrior through and through. Yes, look at him. He even sleeps in a box with pillows. Now, if I fits, I sits. <laughs> Okay, so any preparation that you'd like to do before the morning comes and the sacrifice begins? Uh, um, The statues in the Royal Hall were to to the five? Is that correct? Mm Mm-hmm. 
Uh, I like where this is going. With <laughs> no, because that that's not going to properly reflect my ire. It's not going to reach the right ears. Is it, are there temples within the city to uh, the Titans? Oh, never mind. I. What do you want me to do? Oh, I was going to. There are five of us. There are five statues. We tie up the statues and we dress them in our clothes. Statues are going to survive a sacrifice. <laughs> They're made of stone. <laughs> Kiros isn't smart enough to come up with that plan. <laughs> Kiros is sleeping in a box right now. He was. <laughs> <clears throat> there, there is not a temple to Sidon in Astoria, and that could probably be one of the reasons that he's a little upset. What about Thylea? Is there any? You know what? I'm just so mad. <laughs> Well, you're in a city, so, yeah. No, I don't want to go out there either. I just, I, I keep moving very passive-aggressively. Um, I mean, I guess you could go back down to the river. Yeah. Or you're going to be sacrificed. It's the last time I was happy. No, they're going to take me there tomorrow morning. <laughs> oh. Is there, like, a garden or something in the palace? Sure. You could... Go and be close Alice to her Martin. there. Yeah, sacrifice an apple. No, I'll just scream into a bag. It's fine. <laughs> I mean, if you need girl talk, Andromeda will sit with you. <laughs> well, I mean, it's just there's there's no there's no point to zealotry. What, there, what does Gaius offer? We just there just must be sacrifice, like for or not. If we just stop, what side I'm going to do? If we cut off. The, the river of worship to Sidon, then we can just stop. They could just stop. And, no, and they just, they're not going to stop because Sidon demands it. It's just, it, I, if there was just a tub I could scream into, I think that would really do me some good. But um, do, do you know what I mean? I know what you mean. Okay. And well, I was going to volunteer because I can't drown, and now I've, all of you have volunteered, and I feel bad about that. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, it's not highly. Uh, it's not a well-worn thing, but you know, we fought a war. I think we could fight the ocean. <laughs> the breath-holding rules in five E are crazy. I'm going to be fine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have a quarter step if you want to hit, like, a tree or something. No, the tree has done nothing wrong. <laughs> you can whack the ground, then. You just need to get some anger out. No, screaming into tubs is usually the way I do it. Well, or streams. Then I always feel bad. The stream didn't do anything to deserve it, either. No, I should just bottle off of my anger up and bury it deep inside of me. Or maybe you can use it tomorrow and yell at the ocean. There's a lot of it. That is an excellent idea. Thank you, Andromeda. I shall take that wisdom. I'm sorry if everyone dies tomorrow, but it was very nice meeting you. This has been a very good time. It's been a fun couple of days. If we all die, I'm sure we'll all sort of meet again in another set of circumstances similar to the first one. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, well, with that level of comfort, the morning comes. <laughs> okay. So you all are led as part of a grim procession down to the Rock of Estor. So <clears throat> the Rock of Estor is... Um, so it's it's like right in the middle, basically, of the ford um, in the Archelon River. Uh, and so here, you, you know... It doesn't get more to like more than two to three feet deep at any part of this of this ford that goes across the river, and the rock itself is uh, it's a flat surface, and it forms this sort of natural altar piece that sits out where obviously numerous sacrifices have taken place. There's an iron pole that's stuck directly in the center of the rock, and there's oh, like white to tie stuff. someone to. Mm-hmm. You know, or to draw lightning. To, but yes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not... I'm and, not. <laughs> oh, God. And there's, there's white stones that are scattered all along the base around the pole. Mm-hmm. And there, there's these strong rapids that sort of, you know, rush past the rock noisily. 
um, as it's out out at the edge of this fort. And um, so you're led down there, and Gaius and his captains are there. And you notice um, on the other side of the river to the north, there's a line of centaurs that have come to observe the sacrifice. And they're sort of standing there proudly, ready to watch this sacrifice decide on. And it seems as if they're um, protectively guarding that side of the river, should anyone think to try to swim over to that side, if it were. I'll very snappily and... wave at them. <laughs> um, if, if you're gonna wave at them, if any, <laughs> yeah, but like, can if I, I like, know I mean, any yeah, like, like centaur like greeting or anything, I'll give it to them. Oh, like a yeah. respectful one. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've, I've oh, traded okay. with centaurs, yeah. uh, so I'm I'm upset at them too, but I will give them whatever deference is is customary. Clomp my hooves or whatever. Yeah, they <laughs> they. Like, Winnie back at you? <laughs> Whatever centaurs do. Yeah. I had a friend named Winnie. <laughs> Rear up. <laughs> <laughs> and, um... I hope those aren't your final words, Naya. <laughs> <laughs> Gaius I motions... I had a friend all... named Winnie. <laughs> <laughs> Gaius motions all of you out onto the rock. And he says... You are all to be chained! Chain them! Chain them! It's time for the sacrifice! To the one pole? Oh, that's going to be uncomfortable. So you, you <laughs> is, all get you all get one foot here? chained to the pole. Is okay, Piper okay. That's not one foot chained? I thought we were How all going to be like, chained? you know, bound to it. One foot chained isn't too bad. <laughs> no, one foot chained. You, you can move. You're just sort of, uh, you're restricted to how far you can move. You know, you, you all fit around this point? rock. It's a sizable rock. Mm -hmm. You can all move around the pole freely, but uh, it's like probably like 10 feet of length for this chain. So you can make it to the edge of the rock, but that's as far as you can go in, around this diameter of this rock. Do we still have all our stuff? Yeah. Okay. Is, is Pythor here? No. No. Oh, yeah, I was kind of under the impression he might, he not, he might not be allowed to leave the palace. Yeah, I something about yeah the oath. Peace. Yeah, anyone who said about the hospitality or yeah. something else. Or he's drunk. Well, yeah, I'm just wondering how far does his hospitality extend? Are we outside the city? Technically, you're just outside of the city. Yeah, because although the Rock of Estor is considered yeah, part it, of the it's city. on the map of the city. I was gonna, yeah, the, uh -huh. the bridge and so, river are probably yeah. Uh huh. But um. Okay. But on the other shore. Right, but there's a uh, legion of centaurs on the other shore. There's there's, there's twelve centaurs on the other shore. Yeah, twelve. Or in the water. That's up outside of the city. Can right? you? S well, you can fly. I can't. I mean, I'm sure I'm an okay. Swimmer, I can hold. I can also. I can hold my breath for an hour. Can't really, oh. Yeah, I can't oh. really oh. do what. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay. I mean, Strong lungs because I'm a seabird dwelling kind of cliff yeah, I mean, cliff dweller even That's if i get into the water habitat. i can't really do anything yeah, this, in there unfortunately this river will not harm me i am more worried about all of you um so just let me let me know what you guys need so you all get chained up to the pole you're all on the rock of estor and gaia says you are now offered as a sacrifice to appease the lord of storms Remain here until the sun rises, which is like 20 minutes from now. <laughs> and if you just, step away from the okay. rock, just keep nursing my coffee. City I don't like will <laughs> suffer the wrath of Sidon. Okay. Yes. So after a few more minutes, you yes, actually see there's something that flies into view ahead over the rock of Estor, circling high above as you look up. You notice these things. Harpies. Ugh. Oh. Uh, oh, they're harpies. Ready for scraps. <clears throat> okay. they're flying around. They, they say, This is going to get a little rocky. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Boo. Boo. Yeah, another one says, This is really going to rock your world. <laughs> okay. That's, I'm about to. 
God. Wait, wait, I prepared these ones. This will really ground them. <laughs> Make sure I'll they don't take this for granite. <laughs> I'll throw a stony gaze their way. <laughs> oh, oh, it's oh, inspiration. Nice. She's countered it. <laughs> Delta gets inspiration. Oh. The harpies do not look amused. What is the makeup of the city? Is it is it outlanders and locals both, or is it mostly outlanders since they're under a dragon? Uh, the city of Astoria, actually, probably mostly locals. Mortals. Okay. Um, you're not going to find many like satyrs or centaurs or things of that nature living in the city. Okay. It'll mostly be the common civilized races, as it were. But the 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 city of Astoria is relatively close to Mitros, which is just to the south. So the the tr the merchants that travel to do the trade typically are along that path. Um. Yeah, even still, because uh, my plan—I I want to browbeat uh, these centaurs. I, I would like to uh, let them know that I am very disappointed in them. Um, oh, but yet, like as they're they're chaining me, I, I will look to the centaurs and be like, four native children of Thylia are going to their destiny to sacrifice this day. Is is this what your centaurs want? The the blood of native Thylians. We 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 are starving M more innocence in service of a god of storms who does not care and does not know your names and i am very disappointed in all of you uh, it's make a, a persuasion play. check it's as strong a play as i've got i i just want them to feel bad about it i guess can i uh, help you out by saying yes i have helped many of your kind and yet here you would sacrifice even I. Uh, you get advantage. Okay. Uh, I'm going to touch myself and, and get guidance in there too. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Uh, the higher of the two is a 22, and I roll a d4. Uh, for another two. So I rolled a 24 to make them feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I feel bad. <laughs> you see that you've affected some number of them. They um they consider it and they they start looking at each other and some of them nod and I would say nine of them sort of walk away. Oh. Okay. And three of them sort of stomp their hooves and one turns and says I didn't hear over that any of that over the running of the river did you and the other one says nope I sure didn't I should have spoken a higher treble voice <laughs> 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 seeing the point of it now yeah, yeah. <clears throat> three centaurs remain on the northern okay. shore okay. that too bad. the sun I will just sing beginning out, to peak I will sing out to those centaurs and I will reinforce the arguments of my friends and uh, say, um, uh, you turn against what is essential to Thylea by throwing in with uh, primitive tyranny. Okay, make a persuasion check. I do. I make these with advantage because of my racial traits. So, great. After saying that shit, I'm going to use inspiration. Because I rolled a four and a two. Mm, great, oh, right? no. Oh, my God. Just rolled an eight and a two. Uh, yeah, I think their hearts are pretty hard. I have one more inspiration. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to burn it. Oh, my goodness. All right. Oh, my God. And a three and an eight. What the fudge? Well, that's better, but no. Done. It's not meant to be. Not meant to be. I'm Sent sad. Now. Stand there and stomp their hooves at you, eager to see what occurs oh, no. as the sun peeks over the horizon. The water around the rock begins to stir as if something is moving in it. Um, and we're all properly chained by now. Mm -hmm. 
Um, you you all begin to glance around, and it's like, oh, it looks like there's been some tracks left nearby. Oh, it looks it looks like there's way too many footprints in these lizardy tracks to be large lizardy beasts that only have four legs. What's this? Large lizardy beasts that have eight legs? Yes, two of them spring from the water with magical gazy stuff flowing from their eyes. Oh, no. Roll for initiative. Oh, no. Freak it out. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, dang. Okay, that's not too bad. Is, is everyone else going to keep up this great trend of our, our rad uh, <laughs> initiatives? Because I got really good. No, I got good. <laughs> I'm okay. Andromeda, what what is your initiative score, please? 18. Whoa. That's ridiculous. That's not right. That's not right. Uh, Delta, what we got? Four. Four, uh, okay. I'll put you way down there. See you guys in a little bit. <laughs> my, my favorite daughter would have done better. <laughs> <laughs> so you can hear, hear that on the wind. There. It's coming yeah. from somewhere. You're not sure where. Uh, Kiros. Uh, 12. Middle of the road. It's a true warrior's initiative. Naya? Uh, 20. Dirty 20. Ooh. Dirty 20. And Nerex. 8. Well, you know, you're all... Fairly well spread out. Let's see what these little beasties got. Oh, minus one. Okay. These basilisks begin to claw their way up onto the rock of Estor where you all stand. Two of them in total. Naya, acting at 20, what would you like to do? They look hungry. Oh. If a creature starts its turn within 30 feet of a basilisk, okay, and the two of them can see each there other... There are two of them? The basilisk can force the creature to make a constitution saving throw if it is incapacitated. I assure you it is not incapacitated. <laughs> <laughs> or, you're not surprised, so you could avert your eyes to avoid the saving throw. Okay, I have... Uh, druids in my background, so I am... I, I, as soon as I see them rising up, I'm just going to put my shit. Um, yeah, so I, I am I am familiar <laughs> with the tales of basilisks and not so foolish as to get into like, a... Uh, like their tails, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> the tails? Hey, of huh? Yeah, I see. No. No, boo. To you <laughs> and the party. Um, Gaius, Gaius and his captains are clapping. They're very happy and speaking in high tones. Uh... Yes, a, a jeers all around. See, I have to concentrate on that, so I want... Yeah, but that's going to be my best move. Uh, at least until a little bit later. Um, so, yes, I, I will avert my gaze. I, I sure thought we were going to drown in a river and not, <laughs> not be consumed by basilisks. That's a new one. Okay, point for Sidon. Um Yes, amphibious beasts eat them. Yes. I. Uh, so yes, I, I will glare at these three uh, centaurs. Um, as a native daughter to Thylea, her waters will not hurt me, but these things might. Um, They're averting their eyes. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Know. Averting our eyes, oh lord! Well, stop it. <laughs> I don't know whose gaze is stonier, you know what I mean? Um, that gets inspiration. <laughs> uh, then, yes, I shall, uh, I, I shall move to the back as much as my, uh, my one foot of, of chain lead will allow me. Um, but I, I, I will say... Um, you know, the, the fate of Thylea hangs in the balance. May you all act with its will, and I will give bless. I only have the first level, so I will bless. See, I kind of want to help 
the lesser of us, but I also want it to go to goodwill. So now let's go to Kiros, Andromeda, and who makes more attack rolls, Kiros or uh, Delta, or uh, Nerex or Delta? Um, Probably Delta. You attack a lot? All right, let's give it to Delta. Um, so yes, I, I, I shall bless all of you with that whole, my hair cascades around me, uh, the wind whips up, uh, and then my eyes go back to normal, my hair falls down, and I look embarrassed. Um, that is my action. I've already moved a foot, so I have um, 29. No, you, you, you have free movement around the whole rock. You can position yourself away from the vessel. Oh, because oh, I was just going to move 29 times in one foot. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> excuse me. Okay. Excuse me. I got it. Excuse me. No, no yeah, I... I <laughs> I try and get as much to the back as I can uh, yes, I and as spread out as we can um, for area of effects. But I, I will tell the, uh, everyone to avert your gaze. Sorry. All right. Have... At 18, Andromeda, what would you like to do? Uh, how far away are these basilisks? Are they like right on top of us? Yeah, I mean, you can position yourself as much as 15 feet away from them at most. As they're climbing up onto the edge of the rock. Okay, I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna. You wish to avert your gaze, Andromeda? Yes, please. <laughs> okay, and if you make any attacks, it shall be at disadvantage. But well, then I'm. You are hashtag gonna blessed. Use a... Hashtag blessed. But I also have hashtag uh, Zephyr oh, strike. Oh, hashtag Zephyr strike. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute. Where are all these hashtags coming from? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I need to look this up in the DMG. Hold on. Thylea blesses us with hashtags. <laughs> so again, four. And I will shoot an arrow at one of the basilisks. Bring it. Which I just roll, because Zephyr Strikes gives me advantage on one attack. So I just roll. Ooh. Oops. Um, Get a D4. Seventeen plus seven is twenty-four. Plus my D four is twenty-seven to hit. You bet your basilisk that hits. Wow. Oh! <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> part of the part of the whole thing with leaving includes the players too, which I'm trying to do my best to make somebody storm off. But <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Yes, please, Andromeda, roll for damage. So I get you... an extra D8 for Zephyr Strike, so... Side on does oh, not wow. Like it. No. <laughs> uh, that's 11 plus 3 is 14 points of damage. Would you like to damage Basilisk number Some 1 is... or number 2? <laughs> uh... One, I guess. Okay. Basilisk Your arrow strikes. One. Where would you take me on a date? <laughs> Rock of <Esta. laughs> Oh, yeah, very predictable. <laughs> to the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> okay, 14 points of damage. Anything else for you, Andromeda? Uh, I guess Adrema will sort of back up as much as she can. <laughs> Stay as okay. far away as possible. Yeah, you and Naya are, are pretty close. <laughs> All right. Uh, at initiative 12, Kiros. Um, oh, Kiros. Would you like to avert your gaze this round, Kiros? Yeah. Yes. Really? Okay. Uh, yes. <laughs> I mean. Oh, okay, wait. Actually, hold on. If one of us is going to make a constitution... Statement, it's going to be me, but I, okay. <laughs> Before I answer that question, let me ask you. Are they close enough for me to make a melee attack against them or am I going to have to use my longbow? Uh, whatever you want. Okay, then I will avert my gaze if I can make a melee attack against them. Okay. Um, uh, right. So I will, on my turn, move up. Uh, I will rage as a bonus action. And then I'm going to make a reckless attack. So I give myself advantage, but they all get advantage against me. All right, here we so, go. Are you attacking Basilisk number one? Uh, yes. Okay. Oh, 
man. Okay, uh, let's see. I'm on my action. That is with Bless. That is a 13 to hit. No? Okay. Their tough hide prevents your weapon from piercing. <laughs> so close. He wants to peek so bad to see if he hit. <laughs> But no, he feels right. like he probably hit a rock or the water. Stupid water. That that attack really got grounded. Yep. Oh. oh, great. Now they all have advantage against me. Bring it. Kiros is turning really ground to a halt. It's just uh, You think you're all helping, but you're not. Uh, uh, okay. okay. At initiative 11, it's time for the Basilisks. Oh. I'm assuming, Kiros, you're good, right? Yes, you're yes, that is. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah, it is my turn. All right, so let's see. Naya, you moved back. Andromeda, you moved back. Kiros is right there. All right. So one Basilisk having advantage. Basilisk number one, to be exact, is going to try to take a chomp, a bite, as the attack is called, mm -hmm. out of Kiros. With advantage. Uh, 14? 14 is a miss. A miss. My only class oh, is 15. Okay. It missed, even with advantage. That's unfortunate. Basilisk number two, being over there doing its thing, has to decide, eh, what do I want to do? Hmm, I've got one, two, three, four to choose from. But Naya's doomed, and it really hates Naya, so it's going to be weighted. Okay. <laughs> you chose the doomed path. One, two. Uh oh. Delta approaches Delta. It wants to take a chompy bite. Uh oh. Does a 16 hit. Just barely because I haven't cast shield yet, goddammit. <laughs> it's like, that's her reaction, though. Shield's a reaction. So you can do it now. Yeah, no, shield of faith, you're it's, talking about, right? Yeah, shield of faith. Oh, oh sorry, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, yeah. You take. 10 piercing damage from the bite. Oof, that's, that's not good. And for another you. 7 poison damage. That's bad. 17. Hot, hot, uh, I'm down. Touch your fire on. Touch your fire on. <laughs> Delta really? hits the rock. Fuck. Fuck. Yeah, this is so Fuck. interesting. Well, <laughs> I guess I know what I'm A doing on my turn. <laughs> number 2 is on top of Delta. Initiative 8. Nerix, what would you like to do? Uh, I'm going to make uh, first of all I'm going to fly up a little bit get it some air so I'm above I've got 10 feet of length you said yeah, okay. so I'm going to so be above the melee spot. range of these fuckers yep. right exactly so I'm up out of their chomp range and I'm going to uh, ask this basilisk that is on top of um Delta to make a wisdom saving throw. Here we go. Minus one. Good. Uh, 14. Uh, it saves, so it takes half. And it does not move away. But that's a drag. Mm -hmm. Okay, I was trying to get it off of you. Um, so... That is 11, so five points of psychic damage. Okay. Um, and then... It shakes its head in pain. I am going to, um, give inspiration to Delta. So I imagine a death saving throw is going to start coming up soon. <laughs> so, uh, that's my turn. Delta at initiative four. <clears throat> Make a death save. <laughs> Roll number one. Oh, boy. That was a net one. <laughs> oh, oh shit. Would you like to use your inspiration? That's two failures. Oh, yeah. You should uh, fucking yeah, do that. three of them. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I would, please. <laughs> okay. <Burnt>. Uh, <laughs> that will be uh, 15. Oh, wow. Well, that sounds better. <laughs> that does sound better. Okay. One success. 
versus Top two the rounds. automatic failures. Yeah. yeah, that's much better. Yeah. <laughs> At initiative oh. 20, at the top of the round, Naya, one of your members lies, making death-saving rolls. Yeah. The rest of your party is terrified, averting their gaze. Um, I'm assuming you're man. continuing to avert your gaze. Uh, yes, no, I'm looking at Delta's... Um, Corpse. <laughs> not corpse yet, but she's soon not dead she yet. <laughs> soon she there. will be sacrificed. She is not quite sacrificed. Yeah, I can see the future a little she's, bit. She's and twitching. Look, right? It's not great. Um, she is mortally wounded, but not sacrificed yet. No, but uh, I speak of. Um, <laughs> Fuck. Give me a couple more minutes face down in this water. <laughs> <Maybe>. <laughs> um, yeah, speak of seeing the future. Uh, I, I I take out um, some incense and uh, quickly apply enough uh, fire to it to get it to smoke and inhale, um, as I saw uh, the oracle herself do, um, and suddenly get flashes of different uh, prophetic paths of reality, and I will roll 2d20 to bank these rolls that I can make anything in my vicinity. The results of anything in my vicinity instead. So we'll see if these are good or bad. God, it tries to add them together. I hate that. All right, so one's a three and one's an 18. So I have now banked the potential results of anybody's movements uh, around me as a three and an 18. Okay. Um, and I will further retreat from the one that is currently climbing over Delta's body because it, it looked at me a little too long there. Mm -hmm. I can sense it. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, it, no offense. I try and get behind Andromeda if we were close <laughs> together ish. Um, All right. You're big and strong. Help me. Andromeda, somebody is hiding behind you. <laughs> and you're up in initiative round. It's uh, me. Oh, okay. That makes things <laughs> a little better. Um, yeah. Uh, not, uh, Delta isn't too far away from me, right? Yeah, okay. we're chained to like fifteen yep. feet from each other. Yeah, you can get you can get to her easily. Although there's still a basilisk on her. Okay, that shouldn't worry me too much. Uh, uh hmm. Yeah, I guess I have to. Uh. <laughs> hmm. Anybody got a healing potion? <laughs> I have cure wounds, but it's my last spell slot. <laughs> Didn't we pick up like six healing potions? Yeah, first? and Naya has uh, them. Well, yeah, and, and certainly <laughs> between now and then, I've distributed them. By the way, if, if we can say that happened between. Everyone has okay. one. Okay. Everyone has one. And yeah, I would say Nerex is our most mobile member, has two. That makes sense. Yeah, so if you don't want to waste a spell slot, there's that. <laughs> Yeah, and I, I you you might need to give yourself advantage again before this fight's done, but Yeah. Well, isn't Zephyr Strike concentration? It is. So doesn't she just have Oh, is that true? Yeah, that's why I was like, I could just go over there, give her cure wounds and not get any opportunity attacks and move away. Oh yeah, you might be the Yeah. I guess okay. I can do the same thing, but with a healing potion, too, and still keep my slot. And right? keep your slot if you need it. I mean, it's up to you. It's true. Yeah. Yeah, in case okay. you drop concentration. Need to uh, you're going to you're gonna go over and down her throat with the healing yeah. potion? Yeah. I'll use yeah. one healing potion to save my buddy. How much healing do I get? I don't know. How do you use healing potion? Right. <laughs> it's four plus four. I think it's plus two. plus two. Or plus two. Yeah. yeah. 44 plus four is the bigger one. Right. It's, yeah, it's the, yeah. the plus is always the number of D4 you roll. That's how I remember. Uh, so six plus two is eight. Okay. Oh. Eight full points. Okay. No, okay. You are revived staring up at a basilisk. Oh, wait, staring. Don't stare. 
Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Well, now hold on. A Medusa and a basilisk <laughs> in a staring contest. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm still like, susceptible to it. Put her eyes. Put her hand hot, over and just it's like hot start petrifier on petrifier action. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, the basilisk. I, I dare say that the Medusa should be immune. Wow. To it, Famously, Medusa. Right. Well, itself. and yeah, yeah, basilisks. I think in D and D also aren't immune because they're dumb, and they can <laughs> they can they often fall to paralyze or petrifying themselves. But I don't think we hot do that. petrifier on petrifier yeah. action though. That's that's, <laughs> worth, that's worthy of an inspiration. I think. <laughs> oh, thanks. I'm all out. Py- Pyther Pyther appreciates that one. <laughs> <laughs> so, of course. Oh, oh, oh. Um. Okay, Andromeda, I think that's your turn then. Uh, so you're yeah, she over would... there and then back. Yeah, and then back, back to yeah. protecting Naya. <laughs> Kuros. Okay, um... Kuros, you're engaged in deadly battle with Basilisk Number One. Yeah, I hate it. I hate it. Okay, I am going to use my bonus action to roar. Roar, which means. Oh. Okay. Mm-hmm. Are you still averting your eyes? Heroes. He opened his mouth wide enough that it, his eyes closed. Um, <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> yeah, I am going to continue to avert my eyes, although I was thinking about not doing that, but I'm going to continue to okay. avert. So, uh, creatures of my choice within 10 feet, the basilisks, uh, must succeed on a wisdom saving throw, DC 13, or become frightened until the end of my next turn. Basilisk number one, basilisk number two. This is a wisdom saving throw? Yes. Yes. This is a DC of? 13. Oh, well, a three does not save. However, a 15 does. Okay. So basilisk number one, who you are engaged with, is now frightened. Okay. So I am going to... I'm not going to disengage, but I am going to move away from that one to attack the one on top of Andromeda, uh, uh, Delta. Okay. Okay. So I'll take an attack of opportunity, but it has disadvantage because it's a scare to me. That's right. That's um, I like that. That's a very good. Right. I like your turn so far, kid. It's going well. <laughs> disadvantage. It hits AC ten. That is a miss. It chomps, but it's scurred. Mm-hmm. You go over. Basilisk number two looks up as a big lion approaches. What does it do? Uh, it's hopefully going to take a great axe to the side of its head. Um, I'm going to reckless attack again, so here we go. Cancel out. Hashtag bless. Oh God. I that's a miss because it's it's I rolled even lower than last time. Mm. Yeah, it's total eleven. Uh-huh. Okay, you three dice go away. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> All right. Okay. Heroes, your turn is over. Yeah. Do you have the D&D Beyond uh, thing? Remember, it was handed out now. Yeah, I, maybe I should switch out. to that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Basilisk's turn. It's my right. lion-colored die. Like, it, it looks like a lion. Uh, see, this is why Basilisk I don't do that. number one is frightened. It can't actually move any closer. Mm-hmm. So... Fuck it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> stay there and stay think about what you did. On the side of the rock. Yeah. <laughs> Basilisk number two. Let's see. Two... Uh, okay, let's see. One. Oh, Kiros, it's going to take a bite. All <laughs> right, so this one uh, has advantage because of the reckless attack. Yep, yep. And not disadvantage because it's not frightened. Correct. And it hits 24. Does a 24 hit? <laughs> yes, I think you know it does. <laughs> you take 17 damage total. Oh. Okay. Ten from well, the piercing damage of the bite and seven from poison. Okay, half so, of the piercing is. So yeah, so I'll take five from the piercing, but then that full seven poison. Right, yeah, there's nothing to. Although I think at some point I, I take less poison Fear damage. Resistance. I think that's one of my, I think that's one of the Hercules barbarian things. Okay, that's not great. Um, <laughs> I am technically <clears throat> bloodied. <laughs> Which I don't oh, know if no. Kira, it has ever happened to Kiros before. Mm. Oh no. <laughs> Nerex. Sacrifice indeed. Someone help me. Uh, or, well, someone help Delta, but. Yeah. Yeah, so Delta. All right, I'm going to repeat the same attack on the one that's on um, 
Delta, so it's going to ask it to make another wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saving throw seven. It fails, right. so it takes three dice six, and it has to move away using its reaction, which will draw attacks of opportunity. Uh, oh, no! People's... Yeah, so yes. So what? it takes uh, nine, 11, sorry. Yes, 11 points of psychic, and it, it moves away from Kiros, and Kiros can fucking kick its ass if it wants. And Delta. Kyros and yeah, Delta. and me. And Delta. Yeah, yeah. Both get uh, now, well, if it's moving have... away as fast as it can, it's probably turning its back and its gaze away, right? I mean, I would think that that would probably, uh, you know, turn off its disadvantage. I mean, I like... Yeah, it's basically... It's, it's Jared, I don't want to tell you how to run your game, but like that's brain how I pain. I, I just, I, so, I mean, it's it might be... it arguably be closing its eyes in agony. So, awesome. um, and that, yeah, it's got... It's nearsighted, so that's probably factored it. No. Right. Oh, okay. Is this... But, I will allow happens. it. All right. All right. Nice. Oh, I rolled a disadvantage. Nice. I still think I hit. So, let's see. I got... What is that? It's uh, 18 to hit. 18 hits. Oh, I did a 21 to hit. Ah, 21 nice. also. Nice. Flash damage. Uh, Sidon is very displeased at this turn of events. Good. He's Screw not enjoyed guy. the last he ruined my. Of... He ruined my family. He ruined my family. He can suck it. Uh, so, so start singing uh, the free action. Hey. Side on can suck it. You ruined Side his world. Can so suck it whatever. Um, Side on can suck it. I do nine slashing damage. Nine. And I'll do seven damage with my quarter stiff. Oh my gosh! Bludgeoning. That thing is bloodied as it dives into the water. Are you bloody? Um. <laughs> I'm Very bloody, to... if it matters. <laughs> We're in danger. Yeah. Well, no. Um, I'm gonna give. Uh, I'm gonna give inspiration to Kiros with my bonus action. Thank and you. I'm going to just maintain my my elevated state above. Okay. Fantastic. Delta. Oh, you don't have to make a death saving throw anymore. Good. <laughs> That's a good thing. Sidon doesn't like it, but it's it's. It is what it is. I don't care what Sidon likes. <laughs> okay. Basilisk 2 dove into the water. Very messed up. Basilisk 1, frightened, hanging out on the side of the rock. What would you like okay. to do? Uh, first of all, cast Shield of Faith so my AC can go up to 17. Shield of Faith. <laughs> it's I don't up. feel quite as in danger. Um, and then... <sighs> Hmm, I'm going to get mad and cast Green Flame Blade on my uh, quarterstaff and whack uh, the Basilisk on the rock. Are you averting your eyes? Yes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Well, you'll okay. make it with disadvantage, I guess. Fine. You are hashtag blessed. Now, if I'm frightened... I'm closing my eyes and putting a blanket over my head, Garrett. Now, I don't want to tell you how to... <laughs> fine, fine. No, no, no don't... However you want to accept your disadvantage, fine. Well, one was a nat 20, but I won't be able to go like, with that one. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, so, a uh, 17. Okay. 17, that's a hit. Excellent. Wow. So let me go. Back. I don't continues to dislike the turn of events of this battle. <laughs> and you can cause green fire to leap from the target to a different creature. Uh, the second is damage equal to your spell casting ability modifier. Okay. So let's do that. Uh, so that'll be nine damage to the first Basculus, and then I want the fire two fire damage to jump to the other Basculus. No, it is underwater. Magical fire. Yeah, okay. It's too damn it. It'll take it. It's, it's green. Fine. It's green fire. Yeah. Who's it's ever like heard green of it? Fire, yeah, green. green fire leaps under the river <laughs> and burns the other basilisk. Sure. Okay. You burned. <laughs> yep. You burned. It it's, takes a sick burn. <laughs> it's super, yeah. very good. It superheats the water and scalds the basilisk. Yeah. Well. Yeah. That works. Naya, top of the round. Oh, Whoo! Things are maybe looking up for the for the party. Well, we're not out of the woods yet. 
We've mitigated the problem. There's a frightened basilisk on the edge of the rock. It wants to look you in the eyes to tell you something, Naya. Let's yeah. share a moment with you. Into your eyes. <laughs> no, thank you. Tender moment. No, thank you. It pleads with you, please. Just no. It's you and me, one on one for a second. I no, know you're I... doomed. Just give me a look. Managed to survive satyr bacchanals without making eye contact once, uh, because <laughs> you've entered a contract with a satyr if you make eye contact. So no, thank you. I. Uh, Jeez, I got a couple things I can do, but I, I think the longer these things are alive is the more we're in danger. So uh, I'm going to ask that one. <laughs> the one is like, hey, Naya, 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 you up? Uh, to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, you mean a con saving throw? I do not. <laughs> 14? 14's and up, so once again, that's a big fat zero. Um, oh. eh, I'm, I'm holding on Gaius to Gaius my... and the captains are all clapping. Oh, yes, it's made it. You, sh- you shut up. <laughs> you shut I up. I should have aimed it at Gaius. So not sure if he's within the city limits, though, so we'll... we'll uh, You're the last we'll one to complete the sacrifice. Um, yeah, let's not add, like, five limits. guards and three centaurs to this <laughs> fight, maybe. <laughs> See, I, I start... Most of the centaurs left. The there's still three, and that's enough. Three, <laughs> three I, out I of twelve. I'm just converging saying. the the fiery wrath of nature around one, but then I almost make its eyes, so then I dip my eyes in my spell fizzles. Um, and uh, yeah, that's uh, continue to stick close to Andromeda, and that's my turn. Andromeda, you're up. Uh, Andromeda will just. The one more mini basilisk with arrows. You have your eyes. Your gaze. Yeah. All right. And we're still blessed, right? Yeah. Uh, I still have the, I still have Zephyr strike up, so I technically cancel out the disadvantage. Uh, and sorry, I, since I had a bonus action left, can I cast Sanctuary on myself? Oh, uh, with that. Okay. Bonus action. Thank you. If one of us survives, we all win. I, I mean, we might all be <laughs> dead, but we win. Uh, so that's 23 plus 1, 24. That's a hit. Alrighty. You take another 2d8 damage, which is. Ooh! Uh, 13. My goodness. Alright, it is bloodied and very badly hurt. Is that it for Andromeda? I think so. That's all Heroes? I can do right now. Uh, Heroes, uh, you have a frightened, bloodied basilisk standing on the edge of the Rock of Estor. Okay, so first of all, it is eleven, so we get our, we get to wrap we do have to wrap this up. Uh, but um, there's only one left. Well, well one, the other one down into the water. It has not reappeared. Oh, we did hurt it pretty bad. Okay, let me let me. I was gonna do something else, but let me just reckless attack, smash this one, averting the gaze. Still, okay. Hashtag bless. Ten, twelve, seventeen to hit. Seventeen hits for seven slashing damage. Stupid D twelve. <laughs> How do I you kill it? Go. Oh, um, I chop off its stupid head. Uh, no, I. I probably, don't disagrees that it's stupid. Yeah, but. probably right through the right through like right in between the eyes, so its eyes kind of like loll to each side, and like oh, you can't look at anybody. They again. go out. They fizzle out. <laughs> oh. oh. Die. Die. It die. still gazes at you without its magical ability. Very. Those eyes are worth something. Disappointedly. Delta feels uneasy for some reason. As it slowly <laughs> sinks off of the edge of the rock. And into the water. The other one has not come back. And you've survived the sacrifice! Astoria yeah. is saved! Yay! Yay! Gaius and his captains look very disappointed. Oh, they've survived the sacrifice! Boo! Boo! They're all Who knows how Sidon will punish Gaius? And they all leave. They're disgusted. They just, they, they're just leaving the city outright. Go back and to the your centaur story. sort of 
you know, they give you a nod as if, you know, you did well, and they stomp off those that remain. So at this point, we'll do a quick wrap up, because Liz gotta go. Uh, yeah. you get back. Hello. Pythor's really, really excited. He's like, yay, you saved my favorite daughter, and here she is, and she's like, hi, I'm Anora. He does this, and I hate it. <laughs> oh, you hate it too. Okay. Well, wow, this is my favorite NPC. NPC. <laughs> we we should exchange addresses yes. or something. Perhaps next time we can talk more. But <laughs> Pythor is really happy. He he um he he acknowledges you somewhat, Delta. It's like, oh, that that was that was pretty good. I mean, you didn't you did a magical attack, but you didn't you know actually stab something or hit something with a blunt object, but, you know, you did good. So yeah, here, I'm staff. going to... <laughs> yeah, as a, as a quarter step. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, it was still magical. Though. But still, a magical attack is an attack, I guess. As a reward for my child, who did so well, I give you my hammer. Pythor's hammer goes to you, my daughter. Yeah, kind of it's also it magical. <laughs> Perhaps you can learn to wield it and get some muscle. But it also has a special ability to make magical weapons. Yes. In oh. fact, Ooh. it can make a rod of lordly might. But you'll probably need my father's help, Vulcan. He's in the city. You'll have to seek him out. Yeah, I knew there was somebody he else. He says, Kiros, I told you about Estor Archelander, the man the city was named after. He was the last one in possession of the treasure that you seek. Uh, unfortunately, he's an undead captain of a ghost ship named the Ultros now, so oh. good luck finding him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's all celebrate! And he brings out the wine for a full week of celebration in Astoria. You all hit level three. Woo! You yeah. all gain a second level of fame. Woo! Yeah. Nice. And um, next time... We'll have to figure out what we're going to do. Cool. That's yeah. it. it! Yay! It's, it's 11.04. This has to go. Let's just end the stream. <laughs> yeah. Good game, everybody. Uh, I would we like know we are. Uh, I would like to replace one of Pythor's rolls with a three, so he eats shit doing something mundane, <laughs> and I would like to give uh, Delta an 18 on something really just... Red. She <laughs> chugged wine like no one else or something. Oh, okay. <laughs> one All hand right. and then yeah. smash it down on the ground. Smash it like and subscribe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Great game, everybody. Bye. Bye.